I'll be showing you step by step how to remove the Google Tag Manager code from your Shopify store. So the way we're gonna do this is access our Shopify theme code and then go and manually find the Google Tag Manager code and then we'll remove it. I'll show you exactly what it looks like so you can find it. I'll also be showing you the exact file on where to find it as well. So what you'll need to do first is log into your Shopify store. Then from the dashboard, you wanna navigate to the left-hand side I want to go to the online store section and it should be under sales channels here. If I click on online store, this will open up my themes and then from there I can go and access my code. What I'm going to do first though is duplicate a copy of this theme as if I make any errors or remove anything that I don't want to be removed, I can easily restore this. And this can be a lot easier than trying to figure out exactly what you did wrong. So the way we duplicate our theme is under the three dots here besides our current theme. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on duplicate. This is going to be an exact copy of our theme here. And what I'm going to do as well is just rename it. The date I'm recording this is October the 9th. I'm going to click on save and it's just going to give me a copy in case I make any errors on Along the way. Next, we're going to click on the three dots. This will again be for our current theme here. So I'm going to click on those and then we're going to go to a section called edit code and it should be in the drop down there. So this is going to open up the code editor for our store. And so you want to look for a file called theme.liquid. It should be under the layout section. You can also search for it here in the top left hand side, but we can see it here. Now it's going to be a lot of code here. You might see code for different applications you've installed. And there's going to be some styling and overall this can be pretty intimidating to see if you've never touched any of this before. And so I'll show you two ways to find this code here. The first is you're just going to search for it. You're going to press control F or command F and this should open up the little find bar at the bottom and you're going to search for Google. So I'm just going to type that in, press enter. And I can see on line 263, it's probably going to be different for your code. I can see the Google Tag Manager comment. If you see a left arrow exclamation point dash dash and close with a dash dash right arrow, that is a comment. And they're usually used to indicate what the below code about. If it doesn't show up under Google, the second way is just the manual method. So the easiest one is to scroll down to the bottom and slowly just look up and it should be above this closing head tag. So left arrow forward slash head right arrow. And if you scroll slowly, you should be able to find the Google Tag Manager code. I'll zoom in here so you can see exactly what it looks like, but it should follow this format. It should be script. It will have the Google Tag Manager URL, then the closing script, and there should be something right below it as well, and it's gonna be a second script, and you should see something called GTag. And so these two elements here are what make up the Google Tag Manager. And so the way to remove this is simply just delete it from our code here. So I'm gonna select over these elements, including the comment, as I don't wanna leave it in. I'm gonna press backspace, and I'm gonna click safe and that should remove the Google Tag Manager from your store. We can also preview our store here to make sure everything is working correctly and if it's not you can simply restore the backup and then try again. But in a nutshell that is how we remove our Google Tag Manager code. If you've made any sales on Shopify you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can understand how much money you've actually made. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. And it's gonna show you a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can start making smarter business decisions for your store. There's a free 15-day trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. And there's a link in the description below to the app listing. You can also search for it by searching Profit Calc in the Shopify app store, and then looking for this logo in the top left. So get one-click profit calculations with Profit Calc. So this concludes the video. I hope this helped. If it did, smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.